Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Welcome back. Raining in Forsyth right now. Uh, you can see some of those drops coming down. It's not too heavy yet, but obviously road conditions deteriorating a little bit. Might want to take it slow. 41 Skyview is brought to you by Volume Chevrolet. Right now it's 54 degrees with that rain out there. Six miles per hour for the wind out of the northeast again. Uh, tracking this big mess of rain coming in. A lot of lightning too. So uh, we do have thunderstorms here. These are not severe or anything. It's just thunderstorms, but some moderate rain coming in. Some of us don't necessarily need the rain after uh, what we dealt with last week, but unfortunately just got another wave right here. Now you do see some more intense storms further off uh, to the south, and those are potentially severe. Uh, the Storm Protection Center, you might not be able to see it, but they actually took all middle Georgia out of that level one risk for today. So now uh, we don't have any. Definitely it could be a wet week, not every single day, luckily. So we have today, obviously a lot of rain coming from the west. A couple showers possible early tomorrow. Wednesday is going to be a scorcher. Thursday will also be hot. Couple shower chances late. Cold front will arrive on Friday and stall out a bit, giving us some more rain chances over the weekend. But here's that massive rain right now. Uh, we're seeing it decently intense for the western part of the region, uh, but once it crosses I-75, we're going to see it weaken out a bit, and it's more sporadic in terms of showers further east. Tomorrow, partly sunny early, or rather we have some clouds early, and then we'll get some sun late as highs get into the mid-80s, and we'll push into the upper 80s, potentially some lower 90s come Friday, and there comes that uh, front that I was talking about that'll stall out. So here are the highs today, low, low 70s, upper 60s for the western counties, where more of that rain is expected. Warm spot was 73 in McRae. Uh, you're seeing these rain totals jumping up a little more in the west. We're not expecting as much further east, and so you're probably going to see under a tenth of an inch for those of us who are uh, to the east of 75, especially uh, for the eastern half of the region. But those along the 75 corridor and to the west, uh, that's where we are seeing that more widespread rain throughout the day today. Cloudy start tomorrow, a couple shower chances early, uh, but we will get some more sun late in the day. But something we'll have a possibility for as we go throughout this week is pop up storms in the afternoon because of surface heating. So here are those rain totals. We're largely seeing half an inch to about an inch in these western counties and about a tenth of an inch uh, further east. Lows tonight will be in the upper 50s and lower 60s. We'll have a chance for some fog thanks to this rain. In 10 seconds, I'll have your extended forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, get oil changes for life, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I-75, exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. Your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7-day forecast is presented by Volume Chevrolet. And most of us are going to end up seeing rain today, if not the entire region. Tomorrow, a couple showers early. 88 for Wednesday's high. That's when some of us could set records, getting to the low 90s. Good Friday is when the cold front will arrive. It stalls out. So we get colder over the weekend. That should take away severe threats for Easter weekend. Uh, but obviously, less than optimal weather for those egg hunts.